And to the Supreme Court we go. What's up, Wolverines? Happy Friday evening. It is I, the intrepid journalist himself, John Crump. And I'm in a lot of pain, so I'm not going to make this a long video, but I need to get this information out to you. If you do me a favor, like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. What do you think the Supreme Court is going to do about this? Today's story involves Gun Owners of America, which, full disclosure, I am involved with. I am still a consultant for GOA and the bump stock case. Chicken farmer Rob Olson has filed a writ of cert with the Supreme Court on behalf of GOA over the bump stock ban. After the Las Vegas attack where some nutbag killed a bunch of people, supposedly, Trump asked the ATF to ban bump stocks, which they did through a rulemaking procedure. Sounds pretty similar to what's going on right now, right? So they banned bump stocks and they claimed that they were a machine gun. Well, they use something called Chevron deference. Chevron deference means that if a regulation is ambiguous, the agency can determine what it actually means, but it's never been used on a criminal statute, which, which this is. GOA sued over that, and it went all the way up to the Sixth Circuit where it ended in a tie. Originally, GOA won on the panel level, and the panel said the bump stocks were not a machine gun. When it went to en banc, which means the full bench, the full bench was split eight to eight. And since it's a tie, the district court decision holds. And the district court at the time ruled that bump stocks were, in fact, machine guns. So because the whole thing with the, the you know, Chevron deference, GOA and Chicken Farmer filed a writ of cert, which means... It's a basically a request to the Supreme Court to look at the case and rule on it. That doesn't mean that the Supreme Court will take the case, but there is a good chance that they will. Here's the reason why. A lot of the people on the Supreme Court, including Amy Coney Barrett and Kavanaugh and Gorsuch, all Trump appointees, really want to attack Chevron deference. A lot of people don't believe that Chevron deference will apply to a criminal regulation, and I don't think it does either. If you read it, it was never intended to apply to criminal regulations, but that's what they did here. So the Supreme Court, if they take the case, they will hear both sides and they will rule on it. And there's a good chance that because they hate Chevron deference so much that GOA will win. But that's all dependent if they take the case. There's not much we can really do besides cross their fingers at this point that they do take it. It's not like you can call them and petition them to take the case. But a lot of people want them to take the case. Take the case and there is a lot of other organizations that will file amicus or amicus, depending on however you want to pronounce it, briefs in the case to support GOA's position. And I'm sure other groups like Everytown, Giffords, and Brady will file the same brief to, uh, uh, to oppose GOA's position. All right, that's all we really have right now. I know Olson's been working on this very, very hard. Rob's a great guy, and he is a true believer. He's just not a blood-sucking lawyer. He is a chicken farmer and a great guy. All right. You all have a great weekend. I love you all. Stay ever vigilant. Stay ever free. Keep in the fight. I am out of here. Wolverines, motherfucker.